plaything. By Rabindranath Tagore. Summary Playthings by Rabindranath Tagore is a poignant poem that reflects on the transient nature of childhood and the inevitable passage of time. The poet describes the toys that were once beloved playthings of children but are now forgotten and abandoned. The poem beautifully captures the essence of innocence and the fleeting joy of childhood, emphasizing how these cherished toys lose their significance as children grow up and move on to more mature pursuits. Tagore's verses evoke a sense of nostalgia and melancholy, serving as a reflection on the inevitability of change and the bittersweet memories of youth that linger in the recesses of our minds. About the author Rabindranath Tagore was a prolific writer of India. He wrote poems, songs, short stories, musical letters, novels, plays and essays. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for writing Gitanjali. Kabuliwala is a fine specimen of his literary excellence as a short writer. Question 1. Read the extracts and answer the questions. Extract 1. Child, how happy you are. I too am playing a game. Page 135. Question 1. What are the child and the speaker doing in the morning? Answer. The child is playing in the dust with a broken twig, and the speaker is busy adding up figures. Question 2. Why would the child think the adult's game was stupid? Answer. The child could think that the adult's game was stupid because he would imagine that the right way to spend the morning would be at play rather than frowning over numbers and figures. Question 3. What is art, according to the speaker? Answer. According to the speaker, the ability to be absorbed in sticks and mud, pies that is the ability to appreciate the simpler things in life is art. Question 4. What is the frail canoe? What is the speaker guiding it towards? Answer. The frail canoe refers to the speaker's ability in acquiring wealth. He is guiding it across the sea of desire, towards his goal of success and wealth. Question 5. Why does the poet admire the child? Answer. The poet is very happy to see the child playing naturally, sitting in the dust and not worried much about soiling his clothes. The child can endlessly go on playing in the mud with broken twigs. The child's carefree play attracts the poet and gives him great pleasure. Question 6. According to the poet, what game is he playing? Answer. He is playing a game of accumulating wealth. The game is not a carefree game like the child's game but it is the one in which he works around numbers and money. Appreciating the text. Question 8. How does the poet compare himself to the child? Answer. The poet is very pleased to see the child happily playing in the mud with twigs. While looking at the child, he is thinking of his own life and work where he has no choice but to juggle with numbers and money. He feels one has to be lucky to have the freedom to play in the mud with twigs. The poet has forgotten the art of playing with sticks and mud pies in his pursuit of materialistic things, things which lead from one insatiable desire onto another. Question B. Is the poet happy playing the game he claims to be playing? Why? Why not? Answer. When the poet sees the child playing happily, he realizes how much he is missing in life. He agrees that he has no time to play a normal game where there is happiness and relaxation, though knows he is playing a different one. The game he is playing is with accounts and money. The sole purpose of his game is to acquire gold and silver. He is caught up in the web of desire for wealth and in the process has forgotten how to enjoy the finer things in life. The poet obviously is not very happy with this kind of game because he is spending a lot of time and strength in acquiring something which is far-fetched. Question C. How does the repetition of a broken twig contribute to the overall contrast in the poem? Answer. The phrase a broken twig is repeated in these lines. 
it is contrasted against the speaker's numbers and figures. This is important because it reiterates the contrast between the child's happiness in the simplest of things with the speaker's unhappiness and frustration even though he is pursuing lofty goals. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more updates.